What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, I'm going to set up and testing out the Grand Theft Auto 5 on a Mali GPU Android device. And in the last video, I already covered this latest WinLater version. If you missed that video, do check out the cards or the description. The phone I'm using right now has a MediaTek Dimensity 7300 with a Mali G6 15 2 core GPU. It comes with 8 GB of RAM and UFS storage. So I'll close everything and now let's jump to the main part. Open WinLater, go to settings, and here set the Box 64 version to 0.3.6 and set the preset to custom. Here you need to add a custom preset. Tap on edit. You need to apply these settings. Set everything as I show here. These are the recommended settings to avoid crash errors while you run the game. So I'll get back to the container. Here I have already created a container. Let me show you. Set the resolution to 600p. Set the Vortec driver. In configuration, go to Exposed Extensions and make sure to uncheck both Dynamic State and State 2. Set Image Cache. Size to 512 or 1024 based on your phone. Now go to DXVK Configuration. Set DXVK 1.4.2 version to work with GTA 5 on Mali. Set frame limit to 30, max GPU memory to 2 gigabytes, and any custom GPU device name. That's it. These are the main container settings. Now go to Advanced, set the preset to the custom preset we created. Just save the container settings and boot the container. And there we go. Now, let's first check out the direct 3D test, and it's working as normal. Now go to the path where you copied GTA 5 to your phone storage. Create a game shortcut to the container. I have already added it. One more thing. To avoid crash errors, you need to lower the game settings and DX level to low. To do that, just go to Documents, then to this game path, edit the settings file, and set all the values lower to zero. Or I can directly provide the settings XML so you can replace it in this path. Here you can see the resolution, refresh rate, and the GPU name which we assigned. And here, I want to skip the first level of this game, so as usual, go to the path and replace the save file in here. All right. Now everything is set. Now I'll exit the container. All right, guys, it's time for the test. These are the recommended settings inside the launcher. Now let's load. And there we go, guys. We finally got GTA 5 running on a Mali GPU before GTA 6. This is unbelievable because these GPUs still don't have proper drivers like Snapdragon Adreno, but it's holding up really well. Oh, if it was only that simple, sister. The performance and FPS are quite close to something like the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 for comparison, which also has four Cortex A78 cores. That's actually impressive. But there are a lot of stutters and frame lags here. 
Well, this is just the beginning for Mali GPUs. We can even expect better performance in future updates. If you are using a Mali G68 or G57, it works the well too. It all depends on the number of shader cores on the GPU. If you have phones with Dimensity 8200 or above, or even other flagships, you'll get even better performance since they have more shader cores. As you can see, it struggles a lot in city areas with a lot of frame drops. But honestly, it's really good to see this on a Mali GPU. The phone is not even overheating. Also, do let me know if you want me to test on an Exynos Mali version. So anyways, that's all for this video, guys. To be honest, it's actually impressive. And it's better than I expected. But this is a big step forward. And if you found this useful, drop a like, subscribe to us for more, and I'll see you in the next one.